went to a job in Boston right after I graduated college. And the guy said to me, come to Boston. And the week I get to Boston, uh, he leaves the job. And I thought I wrecked my life. So I did the one thing that I know we would all do when we think we wrecked our lives. I said, I'm going to write a novel. And it seemed like a logical thing. I had no idea what I was doing. And I sat down and wrote my first novel. And I'll tell you that this sucker was 800 pages long. My wife uh, threw 400 pages in the garbage. Um, I, I used to want every character to say what we say when we see each other. So we threw away all those pages. And by the time we're done, I actually had a, a real novel. Um, and I quickly got 24 rejection letters on it. And to be clear, there were only 20 publishers at the time. I got 24 rejection letters, which means some people are writing you twice to make sure you get the point. But I said, uh, I love this. And if they don't like that book, I'm going to write another. And if they don't like that book, I'm going to write another. And the week after I got my 23rd and 24th rejection letter, I started the book that became The Tenth Justice. And I got lucky. And that's where my writing career started. When I was uh, in eighth grade, my family moved from Brooklyn, New York, to Miami, Florida. And when I got to school in Florida, my parents lied about my address so I could go to the nicer uh, suburban school. And in that school, there was a teacher named Miss Sheila Spicer. And Miss Spicer said to me, you can write, my English teacher. And she said, you can do this. And I didn't know what that meant. And she said to me, you're in the wrong class. You need to be in the honors class. And years later, I went back to her. She was the first person who ever told me I could write. And when The 10th Justice was finally published, my first novel came out, I went back to her classroom, and I knocked on the door. And I said, my name is Brad Meltzer, and this book is for you. And she was crying. My wife was with me. She was crying. And I said, what do you, what, what, you know, why? And she said, I was going to retire this year. And I said, why, why are you going to retire? She said, because I didn't think I was having an impact anymore. And I said, don't you understand? You have 30 students. We have one teacher. And Sheila Spicer, as my English teacher, changed my life, was the first person who said, you can write. <laughs> 